Welcome to the System Surveyor tutorial on using and managing element profiles. An element profile is a list of products that may be associated with a particular element or device shown in System Surveyor. Element profiles were created to expedite the design of projects and give users the ability to easily choose products for each element to create a bill of materials. This tutorial assumes you know the basics of System Surveyor, including how to create a site and survey. If not, please refer to our other video tutorials. First, I'll show you how element profiles are used, then I'll demonstrate how to configure the element profiles for your account. When applying or editing an element on a survey, a user can view available element profiles and select the product that they prefer for a particular application. You'll notice the blue star next to the attributes. These attributes may be configured by the element profile. Under the Name tab, this includes device manufacturer, model, price, and installation hours, as well as other fields. The price and installation is used for our budget estimator feature discussed in a different video. In addition, element profiles for our container elements, such as an access control door, can be used to easily add the necessary sub-elements in different configurations. An access control door will often have four standard components. Here we can select the inside door package and it will add the predefined elements to this door container. Now let me show you how to configure the element profiles on your account. Team admins and account admins can configure element profiles for an account. To set up element profiles for your account, navigate to the account admin page by clicking the user avatar in the upper left corner of the site list screen. Tap Manage Teams, then Element Profiles. Here the various system types are presented with each element. Open the system type and select the element to configure. In this case, I'll go to the video surveillance system type and select the fixed camera element. Here you can see there are several profiles already created. From this screen, you can remove or edit profiles that have been created by a team. You can create element profiles in two ways, either direct input on this screen or through our Excel import utility. I'll show you the on-screen option first. Tap on the Add Profile. By clicking Add Profile, a similar screen to the attribute window on the canvas will appear. Let's add a manufacturer, model number, change the icon color to blue, and add a device price. You can also save items in the installation, functional, and other tabs as well. In this case, let's select a dome camera with 1080p resolution. Once you've defined an element profile, create a description name. This is what the user will search on and see in the drop-down list. You can also declare this element profile as a default, which will automatically apply the profile to the element whenever it is added to the canvas by a user. Let's save this example as a 2 megapixel 1080p dome camera. Now let's move on to creating an element profile for our containers elements. Some elements, such as nodes and doors, allow you to group multiple elements within a container. These container elements are identified by having a border around the icon. You can create an element profile for containers the same way as other elements, but there's an extra step to add sub-elements. Let's use a single door as an example. Tapping the plus add profile button opens up the attribute window. You can complete the fields here as we did before, but because this is a container, you'll want to add sub-elements. Scroll down through the sub-elements to access control. Let's add a card reader, an electrified lock, a request exit, and a door position switch. Under Profile Names, let's call it Door Package 2. When a user selects this profile, these four elements will be instantly added to the container. Tap Save Profile. But let's suppose that you have a list of 100 or more products that you would like to load as element profiles for an element. For that, you will want to use our Excel import utility. In the Manage Element Attribute window, let's navigate to the Card Reader element. Here, you will click on the Export button. This will export an Excel spreadsheet to your computer, 
This spreadsheet is properly formatted with the available attributes and ready to be populated and imported back into System Surveyor to create element profiles. You can populate this spreadsheet with up to 500 different products as element profiles. Be sure to reference the instructions at the top of the spreadsheet. Here's a spreadsheet that I've completed. It's saved to my computer and I'm ready to import it. I go back to System Surveyor, Manage Element Profile Screen, and click the Import button, then select the file to import. Now we can see that the new element profiles are created and available to my users. In addition, several manufacturers have already completed these spreadsheets for their products, and you can import them to be used on your account as well. Go to our website and click on our Partners menu to download these pre-populated spreadsheets. We'll be adding more to this list in the future. Thanks for watching, and happy surveying!